Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today I have a kitchen cleaning organization video for you guys. So this is going to be focused on my refrigerator and also my pantry. So I just need to go through my refrigerator and pull a few things out that are old or almost expired. And then I'll probably do like a really quick wipe down, nothing like deep clean, just like a quick wipe down to see if anything spilled, go ahead and clean that up. And then also my pantry, I did go ahead and um, organize it uh, probably about a month ago, but it is starting to look a little messy again. Things are just getting stuffed in there. Things are not where they belong. So I just wanna go in the pantry really quickly to go ahead and reorganize everything and then probably sweep down the bottom of the floor. There's a lot of like crumbs and stuff on the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'll probably just throw in me um, putting away all the dishes because I do have to unload the dishwasher. So might as well just go ahead and include that. But like I said, it is gonna be focused more on the refrigerator and also my pantry. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's clean and declutter of my kitchen. All right, friends, so I just wanted to quickly show you guys a before on how my refrigerator and also my pantry was currently looking like, so then you guys can kind of get an idea of how it looked before and how it looked after. So like I mentioned, my refrigerator and also my pantry had some stuff that was either expired or about to expire, so I wanted to get rid of that, and I also had some leftovers in the refrigerator that I also needed to go ahead and toss out and clean out the Tupperware, so that is what I'm doing. I'm just showing you guys the before, and I'm going to start off in my pantry just because this is what's going to take me the most time is to pull everything out of the pantry reorganize everything and sweep up in there so i decided to go ahead and do the pantry first so i'm going to literally pull everything out other than the last row just because the last row is just like paper towels and then the kids cookie cutters so i don't need to organize that so i'm going to leave that but everything else i am going to pull out and then i'm going to go through everything and toss anything out that needs to be thrown out and then try to organize it as best as possible Raise this time, I promise it won't and this is everything that I pulled out. Like I said, I pulled out all the baskets and also the little bins that were on the floor. And now I'm gonna start going through everything and start organizing. Cause it's been hard, you know I wanted to stay caught us off guard. But there was no other way, did you wait? Cause I've been counting the days and I'm calling up to say I'm coming home. that we've missed cause the cold air is calling and my head's recalling the moment that I was convinced we'll stay up to morning and head out exploring make up for months that we've missed cause your lips are calling and my heart's recalling the way I could never resist it's been so hard
All right, so now that I am done organizing my pantry, I am gonna go ahead and move on to my refrigerator and I'm just gonna go section by section and pull anything out that is expired or any leftovers that need to be tossed out. And then I will go back to that section to go ahead and pull everything out and wipe it down. I just feel like it's easier when I do it section by section. Whenever I do like a deep cleaning of my refrigerator, I will just pull everything out at the same time and pull out all the drawers and stuff like that. But since I'm not doing a deep cleaning, I just figured doing section by section and wiping it down would just be a little bit easier so I'm just gonna repeat this process until I am done with my entire refrigerator So I had this watermelon that I wanted to go ahead and cut up. I bought it a few days ago from the grocery store and I never got around to cutting it up into pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then put it in some Tupperware. So whenever me and the kids want some fresh watermelon, it is already cut up in the Tupperware ready for us. So take a chance on faith Your mind's a boneless place So take a chance Take a chance A chance on faith So take a chance Take a chance and since I did have to go ahead and clean up the rest of the kitchen, I figured I would just throw it in to this video. So I went ahead and quickly wiped down the counter that I used to cut up the watermelon just because the watermelon juice obviously did spill on the table and I didn't want it to get sticky. And then I wanted to wipe down my refrigerator just because there was a ton of fingerprints on there. So just wanted to go ahead and wipe that down as well. And then I'm just going to do a few things that I needed to get done, which was unload the dishwasher and also sweep up the kitchen so i hope you guys enjoy watching me finishing up cleaning up my kitchen take a chance on faith it's too late now it's something i never want to say i stand my ground i stand my ground i need to be you i meant to be yeah i don't see it any other way i know i know i gotta keep the faith i never and wish I could have been I'm never gonna no regret The hours I've been putting in So take a chance on faith Your mind's a boundless place So take a chance Take, take a chance A chance on faith So take a chance Take a chance on faith So take a chance I never want to look back Take a chance Take a chance, 
take a chance on faith. All right, so this is how the pantry is looking like. So up top, I have oatmeal and then my protein pancake mix in the back. Over here, I have some coffee and then some sugar in the back. Here is tea and a few um, vitamins. I have box cereal right here. And then in the back is just some extra empty um, jars. And then this row, I have a bunch of just like coconut oil, aminos, um, vinegar, and then some like chicken broth stuff like that i think i have some extra dressing in the back and then all of this is pretty much baking stuff so like sprinkles frosting vanilla extract stuff like that and then in here is all the extra like um sugar or flour I have coconut flour regular flour i have some chia seeds stuff like that here i only have two things of canned goods which are two cans of chicken. And then I have this jar of chili onion crunch from Trader Joe's. This is kind of like a random basket and have anywhere to put this stuff. And then this is um, just like a salad topper. And then I have some other random stuff in the back. And then this next row, all this is like all of our bread. So I have the kids sliced bread and then I have my English muffins. And then all the way in the bottom is just some extra flour tortillas. In these jars, I have some chocolate chips, sugar, flour, and then extra like Chick-fil-A sauce. And then I wrote the expiration date on here so I know when it goes bad. And then in here is almond butter, peanut butter, honey. I only have two things of pasta. I have this edamame, um, fettuccine, and then just those egg noodles. And then down here is where all like the junk food and snacks are. So this is the kids basket. So it's just full of a bunch of different snacks. And then in here is like all the chips and popcorn. Here is all the crackers and cookies. And then here is more of like the candy section. So we have some Reese's. I have my Smart Sweets. Those are so good. And then I have a lot of my protein bars. And then all the way in the bottom is where I store all of our paper towels, my um, protein mix. And then in here are all the kids' cookie cutters. So I use that to make cookies, but also to make sandwiches, like shape them. And then down here is all of their like school utensils and stuff. Obviously won't be using for a long time. And here's extra plastic silverware and napkins. And then the kids lunch boxes down there. So that is how everything looks like. So I'm just going to do a voiceover for my refrigerator part just because it was so loud. You guys could hardly hear me when I was talking. So this is how my refrigerator ended up looking like. So I do need to go grocery shopping. This was just a few leftover things from the previous time I did my grocery haul. So or grocery pickup. So this is how it looks. Everything is nice and cleaned and there's nothing that's expired in here. All right, you guys. So I am now finally done with the kitchen. So as you guys saw, I did clean out the refrigerator and also the pantry. It did take me a little bit longer than what I was expecting but I don't mind because now everything is nice and organized and I wiped everything down. So it makes me feel better knowing that everything that's in the pantry and also the refrigerator is not expired. There's no like leftovers in there or anything. And then I also went ahead and wiped down all the counters in the kitchen, put away the dishes and then cleaned up the dishes that were left in the sink from lunch. And then also all the leftovers that I threw out, like all the Tupperware and stuff. I do have a few dishes that are on the counter right now that I washed by hand that I need to let air dry before I go ahead and put it away. All right guys, so that is going to end my kitchen cleaning routine. I hope you guys found some motivation from today's video because we all need that extra push of motivation at times, especially myself. So I hope I was able to motivate some of you guys to get up and get some things done around in your house. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Also turn on your notification bell so anytime I do upload a new video, you'll be notified that I have uploaded. I love you guys and I will see you guys next time. Bye.